Okay, so uh, platyhelminths. These are the flatworms. Phylum platyhelminthes includes classes Turbularia, Trematoda, Cestoda. Turbularians are free living uh, flatworms, and then Trematodes and Cestodes are internal parasites. So we'll start with Planaria. Uh, which you see here, that's in the Turbularia. It is a free living organism. You can find these around here actually. Um, this is the front end, or the head end. So they are cephalized. They do have a front and a back end. And see the eye spots here. They are capable of seeing light and dark. Um, can't really form an image. Oracles, not easy to see on this specimen. But there will be these little flaps on the side which have chemosensory uh, abilities so they can move through their environment, see light and dark, be able to detect food um, chemicals. Um, and then we move backwards. That's the rest of the body. There's the back end. Okay. So the other things on here to know is the pharynx, which is this structure here in the middle of the organism. It is sort of like the mouth. They don't have a mouth in that they don't have a, a digestive system. Well, they do have a digestive system. They don't have a complete digestive system. They don't have an in and an out. Right? The in is the out. They have one opening that is involved with ingesting and excreting both. Okay, so this is, yeah, Tegesia planaria. Okay. Um, the intestines really are this all of this uh, dark colored tissue here. That is the intestine. Okay. And that's it. Okay, so that's the free living planaria. Eye spots, oracles, intestine, pharynx. Pharynx is for ingestion, intestines for digestion, um, oracles, chemosensory ability, right? And then let's see, the next group <clears throat> that you need to know within the platyhelminths is this Clonorchus sinensis. Clonorchus is the genus, and they are a fluke, a liver fluke internal parasite. Um, what's going on with this thing? Oh, I see. A little glue on the bottom. Okay, we'll go back to the scope. Here's our Clonorchus. Pretty big organism. This is a whole mount. Um, so it's not even sliced. It's just thin enough, a flatworm is thin enough, you can just put it onto the slide and be able to, light can pass through it well enough um, that you can just view it under the light microscope. Okay, a little different. They do not have a complete digestive system. They still in and out is the same opening, but here it's, it is anterior. This is the head end. Uh, this is the mouth. And the intestines go back from that. Okay. So here are the intestines. There's the mouth. Okay. Uh, ovary, testis. Uh, the ovaries, all of this really dark colored tissue here is uterine tissue. This is the uterus of the organism. We keep going back posterior this dark, dark pink structure here is the ovary which produces the eggs the uterus is where the eggs are stored ovary is where the eggs are produced and the testes are all of this material back here sort of light pink color of the testes so sperm production here egg production there it is a monoecious 
hermaphroditic organism. So monoecious, mo one household has both the female and the male. So one body, two sexes. All right. So there is your Clinorchus. Now, Clinorchus sinensis, um, it, it, the other thing to see is this called Cercaria, which it's actually not a separate slide. Cercaria is a different part of the life cycle. Okay, and so it's a different, totally separate slide. And here, I think, this slide will show us. Oh, it's not that one, it's this one. Will show us these cercaria. It's kind of awkward. You look, okay, so here's the edge of the cover slip. So now we know we're looking in the right area at least. I know that these things are around the edge. There they are. There are three cercaria. This pink colored, they're dyed. <clears throat> And there are three <clears throat> cercaria of a clinorchus. So clinorchus and a cercaria are not different things. This is a stage of the life cycle of a clinorchus. So this is kind of like the tadpole. And the thing we looked at before is the frog. This is the larval stage, which will grow into the adult uh, clinorchus, which we saw before. If it has ovaries and testes, it's sexually mature. It's an adult. This is early stage of the life cycle. This is the part of the life cycle that is dispersing from one parasitic host to the other. Okay. That's the cercaria. So don't look for that on the same slide. Look for that on a different slide. The slide is called um, Fasciola hepatica cercaria. Different species, but the same, same idea. Um, and then finally, we have the tenia, which is the tapeworm. And the tapeworm slide is pretty unique in that um, if you look at the slide, you're going to see it looks like there's four organisms on there, but that's actually the same organism chopped into sections. Top being the front end, the anterior most part of the organism. And then we go further and further back. These are the oldest and the biggest sections of the uh, tapeworm. These individual segments are called proglottids. They're big enough, they're naked. You know, you can see them with your naked eye. So if we put this onto our scope here, I'm gonna, yeah, we're on the lowest power. Okay, and now we're gonna go to the smallest. This is the very front end of this organism. Okay, let's see if this does anything for us. No. Hmm, it's just different contrasting lens. But okay, so here's the front end, the mouth don't look for a mouth here. This organism does not have a digestive system. It lives in a digestive system. It doesn't need to digest things. You digest for it, it absorbs. This is the scolex, which is an attachment. Um, and we can, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on that scolex here. See if we can't get a better view of that, because it is really pretty funky. OK, there's that scolex. Zoom in, zoom out. You can see the individual little sharp hooked spines. Allows that organism to hook to the wall of the intestine and just kind of freely flap around in there, soaking up digested food. So that's the head end. That's the scolex. Scolex is there for attachment. A proglotted. Where do you find a proglotted? Well, the, all of these individual little rectangles here are proglottids, big ones. This is a proglottid. That's a proglottid. They're all pro proglottids. Okay. So a proglottid is the individual segments of a tapeworm. Now, if we go further back here on the body, 
or getting into some of the more mature, older proglottids. And that's where you're going to find the ovaries and the testes. Okay. Ovaries and the testes. So again, this is a, a all of the platyhelminths are monoecious. They're hermaphroditic. And they have both male and female care, uh, organs. Okay. So here we see... Let's find a really good one. That's pretty good. They're all basically the same. This part, this part, these are the ovaries. Testes are these little dots here on the outside. Okay. Testes, ovaries. I'll pick another one here. Not surprisingly, it looks exactly the same. Ovaries, testes. Okay. And that's the uh, tapeworm.